All right, Joe, thank you. Our top story this half hour, it may be spring, but the winter weather is not done with us yet. Snow, as we've been talking about, is falling parts of the tri-state area, making for a messy morning commute. Eyewitnesses reporter Anthony John. In Japan now, and black smoke was seen rising from a damaged nuclear reactor, prompting another evacuation today. Now, there are other news now. Police say the murder of a young woman in Dutchess County was not random. A group of teenagers is accused of attacking their high school security guard. Police responded. 440, you're never more than seven minutes away. Chris Brown went on with the release party for his new album last night after he literally tore up a dressing room and also smashed a window at Good Morning America. Now look, <clears throat> stories on the Eyewitness News Day book that will be making news. Win the 304 million, we buy a ruble. Okay. We'll Done. Do you heard Done. <laughs> Still ahead on Eyewitnesses this morning. In between. The one in between, though, you got to pay like $20 in tolls. So instead, people avoid it by going up. Oh, never mind. If you know right. the area. Exactly. Otherwise, you're paying. Exactly. <laughs> All, All right. right. We got a mess out there. I know. Got a mess. Uh, yeah, of like everything. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, springtime storms are, are kind of the worst mm -hmm. because it's snow and ice yeah, and rain mix. Like... You got to allow yourself for some extra time. And the load that is going <laughs> to because, you know, sometimes kids would like to have a snow day. Right. They'll go to 7online.com and say that their school's closed. So you, we have some security. There's measures. a system. <laughs> you have a system in place. Right. Well, that's not any fun. <laughs> well, <laughs> having a Cause, system? Because obviously there's a perpetrator on the set <laughs> right now. Coming up on Eyewitnesses this morning, the top seven shopping mistakes that most people make when it comes to food. First, though, we'll look at some of the stories to follow it. What a big jump. Good right. morning. I'm Lori Stokes. I'm Ken Rosetta. That means Bill Evans will actually buy $2 worth of tickets this week. You're never more than seven minutes. <laughs> well, the fighting is intensifying in Libya as allied nations prepare to assume a larger role in the coalition bombing camp. Police are investigating after a taxi driver says if four New York City firefighters attacked and robbed him on St. Patrick's Day. All right, Joe, thank you. It's 440 and one more reason and a costly one to turn your cell phone off while driving. Start. Mm. A lot of changes all the yes. time. On the money this morning, and the price of oil is on the rise as the world watches the crises in Egypt unfold. Every day. Yeah. That oh. would be so fun. The Bill Ken Lori. The <laughs> Bill Ken Lori. Wait, the Bill Ken uh, Lori. The Lori Ken Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Tim, don't forget that. Take a look at the stories on the Eyewitness News Day book that'll be making news later today. At 444 is still ahead on Eyewitness News this morning. Huge icicles hanging. Thank you, Joe. It's 5.02, and our top story this half hour, Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak is refusing to step down. Moments ago, Egypt's military promised free and fair presidential election. All right, Jamie, thank you. Perhaps no one is watching the situation in Egypt more closely than the Israelis. For 30 years, and President Mubarak has preserved the peace treaty between Egypt and Israel. Pedestrians in New York City are used to plugging their ears because of screeching sirens. Now, the NYPD has a plan to help save your hearing.